five-star safety Peyton Bowen. I don't have his picture. He has flipped from Oregon to Notre Dame. Oregon to Notre Dame. Big, huge um, flip there. <clears throat> Oregon, just outside the top 10. But the advantage is this. Not only did Oregon lose a five-star, they actually gained a five-star. Let's talk about this. Mateo Uyunglele, brother of DJ Uyunglele, has committed to the Oregon Ducks. Yes, breaking news, going to Eugene, a five-star edge rusher. It seems like that's the thing nowadays for Oregon, isn't it? You just lost Kayvon Thibodeau to the draft. Now you pick up Mateo Uyunglele. It's amazing. Um, let me see where Oregon ranks. They are the top team in the Pac-12 with 30 commits. Mateo is their third five-star. They have 17 four-stars, 10 three-stars for a total of 30 players. It's amazing. What Dan Lanning is able to do after the absence of Mario Cristobal, who's now at Miami, I think is incredible. You know, I, I think that Oregon is the team on the coast. They have the eighth overall class. Um, they have signed letter of intent with like a four-star defensive lineman in Terrence Green, Kenyon Sadiq. Um, who's an athlete, uh, that's edge rusher, basically. They did pick up a quarterback in Austin Novasad. Um, McKeel Gardner, Tatum Tuioti. There's a lot of big names. Uh, Oregon can pick up some Samoan recruits. And some big names off the coast, um, honestly. And they've done that this year, for sure. I'm trying not to butcher their names, too. <laughs> what's up, Stat Sheet Sports? What's up? Uh, what's going on? Recruiting really well so far. They also got a five-star flip from Notre Dame at safety. Yes, that is true. Um so, Mateo Uyunglele commits to Oregon, but five-star safety, five-star safety, Peyton Bowen has flipped to Oregon from Notre Dame. And also, uh, Keon Keeley has also left Notre Dame as Alabama has signed five-star Keon Keeley, an edge rusher. We're going to break down this film here in just a bit. Um this is the Early Signing Day live stream here at Ballard Sports Media uh, 2023. I know it's still 2022, but it's for the 2023 class because uh, these players won't be able to play until next year. So, And we'll have coverage in February, too. What's up, Vic? Uh, 